Chile's 8.8 .8 earthquake exploded with the force of 500,000 Nagasaki-sized nuclear bombs in one of the most active earthquake zones on the planet, where the Nazca Plate is crushing head-on into South America. The Nazca Plate, part of the Pacific Ocean, is literally going under South America, and it's pushing up the Andes Mountains. It's part of the Ring of Fire, a cauldron stretching from the Americas to Southeast Asia, roiling with volcanoes and earthquakes. 80% of the world's worst quakes happen here. The 9.1 quake that triggered the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. A 9.5 quake in Chile in 1960, the strongest ever recorded. A 9.2 quake in Alaska in 1964, the second most powerful on record. When you have a big enough earthquake, it releases enough energy to set the whole earth ringing almost like a bell. Ringing as well across the continental U.S. The red on this map, areas affected by the nearly 2,000 active faults from the well-known San Andreas in California to a little-known fault under New York. One of the biggest quakes, the New Madrid in 1812 near where Memphis is today, set bells ringing in Boston. Quake prone Chile has some of the toughest building codes in the world. Scientists are urging quake threatened Memphis and the Midwest to follow Chile's example. It's not earthquakes that kill people, it's buildings that kill people. The big one, a magnitude 7 plus, could happen here anytime. And Californians are hoping the lessons from the past help them build to withstand the future. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.